Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today video is a little different. I know before you guys seen me in a T800. T800 um, tractor pulling an end dump trailer. Currently now I'm driving a dump truck. It's a T800 as well. It's an eight Lolo. Um, with a Cummins X15 in it um, so just basically showing you guys what I was doing um, I was at the mechanic shop I started earlier today but I had to go to the mechanic shop because my PTO I got loaded and when I got to the spot where I had to dump uh, my PTO was engaging but the switch down here the switch was not it was leaking air so it would not raise the box it would not raise the box so basically i called my boss my boss told me to take it to the mechanic shop and we basically switched out the switch i'm gonna show you right now i just got my second load i'm on my way to dump this is the old switch right here this is the old switch every time you try to put it up or down it would be leaking air so I had a, my boss had a new switch so he brought the switch for me at the mechanic shop and we got it changed out so now I went back got my second load and now I'm heading to dump to the dump site right now um, so I'm just giving you guys a little inside info once I get to the spot I'm gonna show you guys where I'm dumping and stuff I'm currently running in New Jersey I stay local in New Jersey uh, the company that I work for is basically out of Rawway, Rawway, New Jersey. And, you know, so we just now head into the spot to dump and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little shifting, you know, a little shifting, a little downshifting and dumping and stuff like that. So once I get to the spot, guys, I'll catch you back and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we have. J 
gateway. basically go all the way up there to dump it's pretty muddy because yesterday it was raining practically all day in Jersey yesterday um, I came down here earlier I dumped my first load but I was having problem with my my lever to raise the box and I had to leave it I had to dump that it eventually started working I got to dump and then once I got to dump I'm gonna pull over here guys and basically open up the back of my box and I'm gonna show you guys how my truck looks basically let me just put my shoes on because it's muddy I don't really like to drive with my shoes you know for the clutch and the gas pedal and the brake pedal too many mud so I'm not gonna even do that about to show you guys so that's my co-worker coming right there this is my t800 right now this is my truck that's my co-worker right there this is the t800 i love the color it's a nice color so right now i'm currently loaded 
think I'm around 77,000 pounds. So I'm gonna just open this, pull it down. So once I dump it, don't move. Do this, open this one up, pull it down. See, one side is pretty clean, one side is dirty. And that's my other coworker coming right now. We're basically gonna be following behind him right now too. Back in the truck. So, he's stopping. He's probably gonna come and, he's probably gonna come and talk to me right now. So, let me hear what he says. So that's the other truck right there behind me. That's my other coworker right there. So right now we're gonna go and dump. That's the truck. Mine's is all blue. His own is blue and black. I have another, the, he has another truck that is the same similar color to this one that I'm driving. And then the Peterbilt is like a darker blue. This one, the back is the same color as mine, but the front is just black. And the other truck that passed earlier as well, that one is blue and black. So we about to climb this big hill right now, go up this big hill and then dump. And I think that's it for the day because I lost too much time trying to play with the switch. I was basically up here for almost an hour trying to get the switch. Damn, it's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's just always muddy down here, bro. Damn, man. See, that's the Peterbilt right there for my boss. That's the blue Peterbilt. That's our other Peterbilt. So we're climbing this hill right now. He's probably going back for a third load because he started late. I started early, but the whole problem with the switch and stuff like that, so now I'm about to, my other co-worker is coming down the hill as well after this red truck. He's coming down. He's probably about to go back for his fourth load. We were supposed to be running four load. This would have been my third load, but it's my second because I had to drive an hour and 30 minutes to the mechanic shop and get my stuff checked out. See, this other truck is blue and black. I dump this one. Off to the mechanic. Off to the yard. Come on, baby. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. This hill, sometimes this hill, with all this weight, I wouldn't be surprised if I go up here and I get stuck again right on camera for you guys. Got all the garbage trucks in them to the right. And then the dump trucks go straight ahead and dump. Garbage truck leaving. Put up my window because it's hella dirt and garbage flying all around, all around, all around. Oh, they finally made this right here earlier this morning. This was all muddy. That was all mud this morning. So I guess now we just gotta find a spot back into it and go from there. So this guy's backing up here. So I'm a base. Yup, see, I got stuck already. Come on, bro. Yup, now we don't wanna go. Okay, I got there. Let me see if I can get next to this truck real quick. Oh, see, it backs up pretty fine, but going forward, it don't want to move, so. Okay, okay. Alright, so let's just get as close as possible to the other truck. Oh 
Okay, so we back it up. Okay, so now we got here, put it into gear, pull our handbrakes, put on our PTO switch, put it back in the neutral, take your foot off the clutch, PTO is going to engage, and I'm going to open my tailgate right here, open it, and give it some gas, and my box is going up in the air. Show you guys to the back glass, what it's looking like. Box is going up, they got the excavator right there working, loading up that big cat truck over there. Okay, my box went all the way up. Let me just pull forward now so everything could come out. Okay. Once you're unloaded, there you go, you heard the box hit. That's the, the cover. I think I'm gonna wait on my co-worker so we both could just run up together. Okay, my box is down. I'm gonna put it back in the middle. Close our tailgate. And that's it. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along more often. Today we just did a quick run. It's maybe like an hour apart. Most of the job sites that we go to are always an hour apart from where we dump, but my boss has a contract with a like a electrical company and when they be digging sites and stuff like that we gotta go collect the dirt and you know bring it to the dump site dump it off and head back we normally do three, three trips from the dump from the loading place to the dump site and then we gotta take one load from the dump site to this spot where i'm at right now today we didn't go to no um job site we just started from the dump site to here so we're supposed to do four loads i only basically end up doing three because the hour and a half that i lost driving to the spot then driving another practically hour and a half coming back over here you know so i lost a lot of time um so you guys seen in the video you guys seen the truck and stuff like that uh, I'm gonna be bringing a lot more content now because I really like the dump truck I like the fact that I'm not going all the way to PA do what I want to get back in a tractor trailer Absolutely, I would love to get back in a tractor trailer But for how the trucking industry is running right now the trucking industry is very very bad It's very very bad. I remember before when I first got my CDL there was jobs flowing around left and right there was a bunch of jobs and if you guys agree with me comment down below there was a bunch of jobs i remember they have this app called craigslist i used to be on craigslist every day when i knew i was coming up to get my cdl and i used to be seeing a whole bunch of jobs out there they wanted experience and stuff like that of course but there was jobs out there now you go on craigslist the same set of jobs that i've looked at before it's just like they still there like nobody is updating nobody is putting no new jobs up there because the industry is slow right now I'm, I'm i'm really grateful oh guys i also forgot to tell you the dump trailer when i was doing the dump trailer one morning i was going to pa and i practically got stranded <coughs> oh my bless me sorry guys I practically got stranded at like 4.30 in the morning in PA on the side of the highway. All my bosses and nobody would answer the phone. I didn't get a tow truck until like almost eight o'clock that morning. And the crazy part, I was loaded like 78,000 pounds and I was on a hill. Like I'm about to go up the hill. As soon as I was about to gear down, my crankshaft cracked. So I started feeling metal grinding. I saw my oil pressure dropping fast. So I pulled over on the side 
to try and figure out like what was going on. At that time, I didn't know that the crankshaft had cracked, but I'm checking, checking my engine because I seen the oil level drop. So I'm like, let me make sure, you know, I did my pre-trip the morning and everything was fine. My oil pressure was fine. So I'm like, what's going on? Couldn't find nothing. I didn't really go and check the crankshaft, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't go and check that. And once my boss and them finally got a tow truck and they brought the truck back to the yard, my coworker with the other truck had to basically go and grab the trailer and take it to low, to dump. So long story short, the truck been sitting in the mechanic shop for a month before they even took a look on the truck. And I was just at home and I was like, bro, like I can't do this. Then they wanted to throw me in an automatic Volvo with no PTO system. I tried it one day. So basically what would happen is I would have to basically run off of my other coworker schedule. Like we would have to leave together and stuff. And I was telling them like, bro, that's unfair to him. And it's unfair to me. He's the type of the guy, he likes to wake up whatever time and leave and go to work. You feel me? And we no longer speak because of that situation. Like I used to tell him like, bro, I'm running off of your schedule and whatever, but I have a son, I have a kid. You do not have a kid. So he would want to wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Mind you, it takes six hours to get to the spot where we got a dump. He would want to wake up 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and decide he want to leave now. And I'm like, bro, like we accustomed to leave at 12 o'clock in the night. There's barely any state troopers on the road, less traffic and stuff like that. If you leave at 11 o'clock in the morning, driving six hours up there, what time are you gonna get up there? And then you gotta drive another six hours to come back to get preloaded for the next day. Like, I can't keep doing that with you, you know? And I guess he felt some type of way that I expressed myself to him. So I just left it alone and we no longer speak, but long story short, they try to put me in an automatic Volvo, a sleeper flat top. That truck had no power. When we was going up those hills in PA, my truck would be struggling. Then the truck is govern the truck is has a governor at 65. Whereas in the T 800s that me and my boy was well, my ex-friend was driving, they didn't have any governor. You know what I mean? So it's like we used to basically be running, like running, no problem. But after they put that truck with the, gave me that Volvo, after like the second day of doing it, I couldn't do it no more. And I told them, I'm like, I can't do this no more. Like you guys are not trying to rent the truck with a PTO system so I could run and keep making you guys money. Y'all want to just give me an automatic Volvo and have me run off of this guy's schedule and it's not feasible. Like it's not, it's not working out for me like that, you know, but you know, everybody only cares about their money and stuff like that. And I'm the type of person I like to work. I love driving trucks. I don't do it for the money. I mean, it is a job, but I don't necessarily do it for the money. Like, I love trucks. Ever since I was small, I had a passion for trucks. And I always said once I grew up, I wanted to drive trucks, you know? So, that's that. So, that truck still, and that truck, it has to be about three, four months now. And that truck is still down. Um, So, I end up going on craigslist so happened that my boss he he's a very cool guy very very cool guy he had somebody in this truck but he told me like they had a lot of stuff going on and they would not come to work and be missing work all the time you know and he gave him a pass a couple of times but he was like after a while i can't like i'm losing money so i'm like no you're absolutely right so i went did the road tests with him he wanted to make sure i could drive you know road test and stuff we went around the block once we got back he was like all right if you want you can start tomorrow and now we're here so guys i want you to like comment and subscribe to the video please drop a comment tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend and let's keep going let's get this channel up and going i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace